guys, what's going on guys? How are you? I feel like a ballet dancer right now with this, whatever this outfit is. Um, so clean the garage, put some mats down. I got a salvage. I was able to salvage the one, so I gotta cover that part from the gym. So I'm uh, super excited, super happy about that, that I wore this 1980s um, leotard to uh, clean my garage out while there was an open house across the street. So this is what you look at when um, you try moving in or buying a house. Uh, this with emo music and some hardcore music, um, probably not the best way to sell your house, just saying. So hopefully you guys had a nice weekend. Let's get a good warm up in. We're gonna go into two movements after that warm up, And the main thing is going to be RDL to a squat, which means I'm gonna go about shoulder width, right? I'm gonna push my butt back first and then fall into my squat and then stand up. So again, I'm gonna go RDL with a squat with stance, pull myself down into the squat and then stand up. And you're gonna do that for 10 reps. After that, we're gonna go high and high, which means I'm gonna go pull myself down into my squat, one arm up, one arm up, stand up, take a break, shake it out. And we're gonna do that for 10 reps, okay? So regular squat, one arm up, arm up to a wide, chest up tall, stand up, and we'll do that for 10 reps, and we're gonna go two sets, okay? So RDL to a squat with a stand up for 10, after that, squat down, arm up, arm up, to a Y, stand for 10, and then you do that for two total rounds, and then we'll get into your first part. All right, guys, for the first part, we're gonna go into goblet squat to pause squat, so I'm gonna go a little bit on the heavier side if I can, if not, and you probably have the same weight or dumbbell, then go to a higher rep range, okay? If, if you're good and can go heavier, I only want five. So we're gonna go nice goblet squat, elbows tight, sit on down, stand on up. We're gonna get five reps. After five, we're gonna hold down for 10 seconds. Two, three, four, 10, put it down or stand up out of it, whatever your back feels for that day. All right, when you're done, you're gonna go back to those glute bridges we did on Thursday. So I'm gonna go single leg glute bridge, let me, kind of anchor you guys down this way not too shabby it's very dark in here now so I gotta change things up so again if you could put your foot up on something I'm in black so I look like I just mesh with the floor if I could put my foot onto something then I want to really get that bridge on that down leg to get the hamstrings involved and here I'm gonna go 10 reps on one side switch out I could hug the knee if I want to 10 reps on the other side make sure you feel this engagement all right, just don't do it to do it and just pump through. I wanna make sure you squeeze and feel your glutes and hamstrings working. All right, so we have goblet squat five to pause squat for 10 seconds. After that, single leg glute bridges, 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and we're gonna go into four sets total, four sets. All right, for the second part, we are gonna go into split squat. It's gonna be the same exact way we did the tempo or the, uh, the regular squats to the pause squat. It's gonna be on each leg though. So from here, again, split squat stance, I'm gonna go five reps. If I could hold the weight, I'll hold the weight. After five, I'm gonna hold hovering low, not letting the knee touch the ground for 10 seconds, nine, 10, and then stand up, shake it out and then you'll switch to the other side, okay? Elbows nice and tight, good core, don't let that body drop. Chest up, we're gonna go five reps. After five, we're gonna go to a 10 second isometric hold, nine, 10, stand up, and then shake it out. You can put your dumbbell down. Second movement, we're gonna go into a renegade row or a plank, uh, I guess renegade row, plank row, except we're gonna add a lot of tempo to it. So it's super slow, wide stance, good control. So from here, if you go on and hold the dumbbell, please go ahead. If not, then just use one hand. But I'm gonna put one hand in the middle more, out to the side, wide base. I'm gonna go one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And I'm gonna go really slow coming down. So if you can't do this body weight, try to elevate up a little bit. If not, don't worry about the dumbbell, just get that core control. You're gonna get five reps with super slow tempo coming down, and then five reps on the other side, and then back to your split squats. We're gonna go into four total sets. So for the last part, we're gonna go into a pretty fast finisher. Okay, it's 100 reps. I'm gonna use a ball, right? Body weight squats as fast as I can. Right, so what I'm looking for here is making sure that when I'm coming down, I'm coming down fast, touching, I'm coming up with speed. All right, the biggest thing is trying to get out of my head. Bang, one, 
to notice how I'm blocking out each one, right? It's like I'm jumping off the ground. I don't want to go two, three, four. That's kind of called cheating. So make sure and get to the deepest range you can. Stand up. That's even a little high for me, which means I'll probably remove it. Well, it is the middle of the day and I did just move a garage. So I'll be okay. Bang, bang. Every rep counts. Don't try to get a fast one just to cheat and get a faster time. Make sure you get 100 reps on those body weight squats. It should not take you more than three to four minutes. I know you guys can do it. And then get a nice cool down, get some good stretching and mobility. And then I'll see you guys on Tuesday. All right. 100 reps as fast as you can. If you want, email me, text me or whatever the time that you got. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.